really excited to be here today. Oh yeah. I'm so excited that our friends are joining us too. Lucy, do you know you dressed for the part today? No. You dressed perfectly for what we're talking about. Friends at home, what does she have all over her dress? Can you guys tell? She has hearts on her dress. And that's so important because Lucy, today we are talking about the importance of guarding your heart. Do you know what the Bible says? The Bible says guard your heart because everything you do flows from it. Proverbs 4, 23. It is important that we guard our heart. Lucy, how do you think you guard your heart? By letting Jesus in. By talking to Jesus is a great way to guard your heart. What are practical things you could do to guard your heart? Lucy, you do a really good job of this already. Being careful what you see with your eyes, what you watch on TV, what you listen to, what music you listen to. You never want to watch things that can make God sad or listen to things that can make God sad. By doing things, by protecting what you watch and what you listen to and what you say, you're guarding your heart and you're making Jesus smile. So here's a little object lesson for you. Ooh. Lucy, you've got hearts all over your dress and I have a heart on my plates. And we're gonna see what happens when we put the living water of Jesus on our plate. What happens to our heart? Okay. We're just pretending it's the living water of Jesus. But when Christ comes into our heart and we guard our heart, we're gonna see what happens to our heart. Let's pour some water on our plate and see what starts happening to our heart. What happens when we blow a little bit? Our heart, oh, did you guys see that? Our heart comes alive and it starts flowing in the living water of Jesus. It moves around and it's flowing and we blow a little air. Lucy, do you wanna blow a little air onto our heart? It will flow. We need to be careful with our hearts because everything we do flows from it. And what happens if we separate our heart from the living water? Do you wanna separate our heart from the living water? Oh, we dried up. If we separate ourselves from God, our hearts are gonna get all crinkled and dried up and we don't want that. We need to be careful to guard our hearts so that we can always flow. Can I trust you to guard your heart, Lucy? Guard what you see and what you listen to so that you can keep your heart close to Jesus. I know I can trust my friends at home to do the same. All right, we hope you have a great week. Bye. Bye. Remember to like and subscribe.